The Rennie Collection is presenting Martin Creed in our town, words and music, and that will be 7.30 Thursday night, May 19th at the Vancouver East Cultural Center. Uh, the Rennie Collection at the Wing Sang Building. Martin Creed's work will be there. Uh, he's a world famous artist. Does that sound funny to you? Because you, <laughs> you often write that you're not quite sure uh, what you're doing. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just sort of trying my best to... Mm. To create yeah. and make yeah. art that that's like music and make music that that's aye. like art. Aye, well, I just want to feel. I just want to feel better, you know. Because mm. when I wake up in the morning, I just most mornings I just feel like, oh, you know. I so let's know. create something whimsical or powerful. Or yeah. do you even think about it? You just create it. I, I'm looking for excitement, you know. And, mm. Uh, uh, tell me about the pink balloons, the excitement of pink balloons in a room, half of a room, I'm oh yeah. assuming. Um, yeah, uh, well, the pink... Number 329, <laughs> yeah. if you've forgotten. But so the balloons kind of just make visible the air, so mm -hmm. um, you can... Uh, uh, so the space between people is made visible, you know? Right. Uh, and I wanted to try to make a work. I wanted to try, like when you make a sculpture, often it's really difficult to decide where to put it, you know, mm -hmm. over there, over there, you know, I don't care really, they're both nice, you know. And this balloon work was trying to make a sculpture that just fills the whole room instead of just going one place, you mm -hmm. know, it just always occupies mm -hmm. the whole space as well and also occupies the space between sure. people. Right, because we live in our spaces. That's very important space, isn't uh, yeah. it? But uh, in space, you know, you need space to even be able to mm -hmm. look at something. You know, if there was no space, everything would be there, you know, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't be able to see. Why pink? Um, uh, Why the color pink? Well, I made a few of these works in um, pink. I like pink, mm. uh, but oh. um, I, I, I kind of like all colors. Sure. Yeah. And how do you keep those balloons full? Um, they have well. You don't. They just it gets replenished every so often. Okay. That, so they add more balloons to keep up the level. To keep it up. And are there so yeah. many balloons in the piece, or does it matter? No. The idea is that it fills half the volume of the space. Where whatever wherever the space is. Yeah. Okay. And then, and so then it doesn't matter how many balloons, as long as it's approximately mm -hmm. half the volume of the space. Right. Let's go down to 129, a door opening and a door closing. A door yeah. opening and closing. You did this in 1995. Yeah. Um, well, a door opens, a door closes. That's very much, I, I, you know, I, I think that um, I just never feel sure about things. You know, I don't, mm. I don't know what I want to do. So, okay. So um, I don't know if I prefer it with doors open or... Closed. Doors closed. And as you know, again, back to our grandmothers or our mm -hmm. mothers, when uh, something terrible happened in our lives, they would say to us, well, don't worry, dear, another door will open. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It'll be a happier day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Another door will open. A door will always open. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Now, the runners. You had uh, uh, runners going through the Tate Gallery in the Devine Gallery in England, in yeah. London. Running how fast and why? <clears throat> the, well, Human the, runners. The idea is that they run as fast as they can. Um, and the reason was that I got to thinking that um, these things I was making, these sculptures and paintings and other things were um, in a way like kind of um, perhaps unnecessary that maybe because it seemed because maybe because before you even can make a sculpture, you've got to be able to move, you know? Yes. So, so then I was thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't be like trying to make things. Maybe I should try to concentrate on like moving my body mm. better. You know? Oh, but the point <laughs> and so, is, and uh, and, I, and, I, and then I, and so I thought I'll try and make a sculpture that's just a person moving, mm. instead of making a thing to. Sure. So and then I thought, well, if I'm going to have someone moving, just have them moving as fast as they can. That'd be like. So to me, it's like a really simple dance. You mm -hmm. know. Uh, like just moving as fast as you possibly can. And the point is, Martin, I don't know you well at all, uh, but I assume that meant you didn't have to run. No, I, <laughs> no, I didn't have to run. No, I, they had well, to I run. I didn't try. You didn't try to run, but the whole... What was but the response to, to that? Me, these works like that are very much like music, you know, in the sense that um, mm -hmm. they're, they're compositions, which, which um, if you think of, a, of an orchestra playing a piece, you know, sure. 
in this case, the, uh, the runners are, are performing the work mm -hmm. very much in the, like very musicians. Much. Or in ballet, or yeah. in any modern uh, dance, or jazz, uh, exactly. and improv, yeah. all of that. Do you play instruments? I play, Many? well, I try to play the guitar. Oh, fine. <laughs> and uh, I try to sing. Mm -hmm. uh, I sing and play guitar in, in the band that I have. And, um, uh, but, but um, you know, I like all instruments, you know. Yes. Well, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> nice right. to meet you. Thanks. Thank you. you. And you too. do have a book of your work, right? Is yeah, it called it's Martin? published by Thames and Hudson. It's um, Martin Creed Works. Martin Creed called. Works. Yeah. Okay. And he does. Thank you. <laughs>